Hey guys, Brian here with What's on the Table. Today we got some trigger fish, some gray triggers. Got these guys while uh, red snapper fishing. 12 inches to the fork and on the Atlantic side, East Coast Atlantic side. So head to the fork. Actually one of my favorite eating fish. Skin's uh, pretty tough to play. They, they tear a good knife up quick. So I like to keep my knife sharp. Got a Dexter Russell, eight inch straight edge, and a Dexter Russell, eight inch serrated blade for backbones and tough bones. I don't want to cut them with this because it breaks away the edge on here. My nice sharp edge. So I break, it, break the bones with this. Not sponsored. <laughs> All right, with the trigger fish, do like to start right here on the side fin, poke in there, just use the tip of the blade, kind of saves the uh, rest of the blade from dulling out. Their skin's real tough, almost like an armor. Come around, come back to this fin here, kind of just use that, that point of the knife, barely get in there, break away that skin. Come up here to this front this little trigger he's got like a little uh housing or something here that makes it kind of tough so just kind of poke in there and just kind of cut right around that you'll, you'll feel it it's real real hard get that knife in there and lift up as you're pulling the knife through just continue to lift up and that fillet will pull right off flip them over i like to flip them over when i'm halfway through so that way the fish doesn't suck in, pull down, um, makes it nice and fat, consistency. So that way uh, when I start this edge, it doesn't, it's not sucked in, towed in like that. Poke it in there. Come around, do the same back here, start back here if you want. Poke that knife, is barely in there. I'm just going in about a half an inch right there. Come around that little plate. Do the same thing. Get your thumb in there. Put that knife in there. Just slowly drag that knife down that back backbone. And lift up. There's a couple ways you can you can do this. If you want to just continue to lift up. Get over through that backbone. Just continue to lift up. After you go over that backbone, you're going to want to cut just a little bit down on them because of the angle of the fish. And then once when you think you're to the other side, you just pop your knife through and then come back. Like spin around, pull it, pull your knife up this way and then make your cut continue down. Like I said, that skin's tough, man. Really dulls your knife quick. I like to keep a good sharpener handy. These, I'll just flip that fillet over, leave a little bit of that nub of the skin hooked to the fish because it, it is so tough. Put that knife in there, start, start to cut, and then kind of 45 it. And now I'm just holding on to that skin, the tail, the fish, or whatever, and just kind of slowly sawing it back and forth. Just like that. So these are one of the most tastiest fish personally I think I think it's a uh, definitely an overlooked species I don't really target them but I don't throw them back either if they uh, if they end up in the boat so this one I'll go ahead and I'll this one I've got halfway done so I'll, I'll do this one a little different I'll come over here I'll poke into this side just with the tip of the knife kind of just getting it started you don't want to go all the way in because you don't know what you're cutting. So if you poke in there and you just start sawing, you don't know what you're cutting. You want to make sure that you're staying right along that bone. So I'll come in here. Just like that. I'm 
Make, make your cut down from your fin. Whew, that skin's tough. Grab my hand like that, pull this knife forward, kind of cut through that little bit of rib cage that's left. Flip them around, do the same thing. I'll leave that uh, skin attached to the body, give you something to grab a hold of. Take that knife, make a little cut down through the meat. As soon as you hit that skin, turn that knife. Just drag it. It's been solid back and forth real slow. Make sure that knife's pretty sharp. Mine's getting a little dull, but it'll work. Just like that. Usually we play a game what's in his belly, but I don't see much there for him. You got a couple little crustaceans in there, maybe a crab. We don't get to play that game today. I like that game, it's fun. Go ahead and get rid of that little rib cage that's in there. I like to do these kind of like red snapper, garlic butter, lemon pepper, broiled or sauteed, uh, the really, really good fried. If you guys have any ways that you like them, please share, man. We'll try, we'll try anything. We're up, up for new recipes for sure. Definitely one of my favorite fish, like I said before. Right now I'm just uh, removing that rib cage and a little bit of this, this you could call it a little bone that stays in there nice getting a little dull it's on a bone too I'll come through there and kind of just feel with my hand feel the bone stops about right there so I'll cut on the south end of it Cut on the north end of it. Voila, just like that. Trigger fish fillets, one of my favorite. Small and tasty. <laughs> All right, guys. Give us a, uh, a like, thumbs up, whatever. And if you have any uh, recipes, please share. Thanks for watching.